the Tech Temple. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Wise Man White at the Tech Temple. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, my last video I did uh, the Android keyboard, the L keyboard that's coming up, and I told you I was going to show you the next thing, which was going to be the Windows Phone keyboard. Um, I am running the 8.1 developers preview, so you may see one or two things that you won't be able to, to get on your phone. But um, in the next video after this, I'll, I might show you how to get the 8.1 developers preview, so you can see all the new things that are coming onto the Windows platform. Um, so I am running a this is a Nokia Lumia um, 925 from T-Mobile. Uh, my first, you know, white white phone. Um, I did take notice that if you get a white case, um, it does get dirty real fast. And if you wear jeans with the white case, it stains the the case. I mean, it's a case, so I don't I don't mind it getting dirty. But I'm just glad that I rather had a case than to get this, you know, get my actual back of the phone dirty. So the back of the phone is still clean. Um, but here's the case. I'll just toss it out the way because I don't really need it. All right, so let's get to it. One thing I do like about this phone is you double tap and it unlocks the phone, the screen. So, um, let me change the color real quick. That way, uh, I was in an orange boot earlier, so let me go ahead and change the, the theme. I'll make it a red theme. Make it a red and choose this photo. I'll make it red. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and generate an email. First, I want to talk about the look of this. Then I'll talk about the uh, the features, and then we'll get to using it actually. So the look of the keyboard. There's white letters. Um, I do like that they are either island keys and in individualized as opposed to you know one flat uh, keyboard where you can't tell where the letters end. This actually helps you figuring out you know where can you and can't you type. I also like that the keys are a lot taller. It's way easier to type with taller keys. Should be more easier. I mean, I, I type that with relative ease. I definitely type easier on this keyboard than I do with my Android keyboard, and a lot of it is because the keys are taller. So that is one big plus that Windows Phone has going for them: the, the keys. Um, secondly, uh, the, the keys do change colors. So right now, I have a white theme. If I go back into the the theme, actually, where I was, and I'll change the theme to black, a dark. And then I'll go over to um, a text message. Was I in text messages already? Here we go. Um, you see the keyboard is, is black now, or gray, not black, but it's, it's darker. It matches the theme, and you know it's just as nice. So I'll go back to the email so you can see that the emails are white, as opposed to the, the text messages are actually turned black. So that's the look of it. I do like the look of the keys. I love the sound of the keys. Here's the you hear when you when you type. It's, the sound isn't annoyingly like high pitched. It's really like a low sound, but it also gives you you know kind of comforting to hear. I don't have my vibration feedback on right now, so I like some kind of feedback when I'm typing. And to have the sound on works for me. And I do like I like the sound. I like the sound a lot. Actually, on my Android phone, I actually use a Windows sound when I type because I just like it better. So the sound is good. Um, the look of the keys are good. Like I said, the taller, taller keys, I like them better. So now let's go into the um, the settings of the keys. So I'll show you the settings where you can change um, after I after I go through these real quick. So letters capitalized. I like that when you start typing a sentence, they go to lowercase, which you might not think that that's a big deal. But what about when you're typing in a password? You know, I've used my sister's or my friend's iPhone. I log into a website from their phone, then I, I can't tell if the last letter I typed in was capitalized or if it was lowercase because the keys don't change. So I do like that the keys do go from upper to lowercase and vice versa on this. Another thing, the comma and the period, which I think are the two most used characters are on a phone or right there. So if you have to type a sentence. Comma or a period if you don't want to use a um, if you want to double space the periods right there so I do like that they're right in the front the numbers you know there's 
half, a third, a quarter. It doesn't go anymore past four, five, six. If you're looking for a degree symbol, it's under the number zero. It took me a while to figure that out. That's where the degree symbol is. Um, and these other ones have hidden little symbols in them either. Also, there is no uh, there is no setting to change the amount of time that you hold this. Like an Android, you can change the amount of time that you hold it for this to pop up. There's no setting like that. But this pops up relatively quickly. And while we're talking about settings, I'll go ahead and show you the keyboard settings. So add keyboards. Add keyboards does not mean that it adds another keyboard like on Android where you can add you know, swipe or swift key. It just means that you can add another language. And there's a decent amount of languages in here. I haven't counted them, but you just pick your language and you download it and you have the dictionary. So right now I have English on and advanced reset suggestions. So if you save some words that you don't want to do, um, you can reset the entire dictionary. I normally have this on switch back to letters after I type in emoticon. So now we'll get into the functionality. So one thing I do like about this is, so let's say you want to type some, um, Howard, I hope you're happy today, or are you happy? So you notice that when you type happy, it automatically Suggest you type a smiley face, which is great, so you don't have to go into the emoticons key. I mean, it does give you, I like that the emoticons are grouped into um, different sections, you know, weather, travel, you know, food type items, and automatically, and it gives you favorites, so things use a lot. But I also like that it automatically suggests emoticons. You're talking about trees, a tree comes up, and if you want to replace the word with the emoticon, you just tap the word, and then you press the icon, and it replaces it. I love that. And secondly, um, in the settings, it said that if you don't want it to switch back to the keyboard after you type. So let's say I want to type a lot of emoticons at once. You just turn that setting on and you can type in as many as you want. But normally I like it to go back to the keyboard right away. So I leave my keyboard checked on. And that's really the only option besides improved suggestions by Microsoft. To let, let it read your, your text pretty much. Um, so one other thing I do want to show you, uh, text-to-speech is pretty good. So all you do is tap right here. Thank you for checking out this video and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, okay, that wasn't perfect, but I mean, that's pretty good. One thing I did notice that it doesn't, you don't have to tell a period or a question mark. What are you doing today? Automatically put a question mark. So that's that's something that I'm still trying to get used to, but that's nice that you don't have to tell it, hey, I want to use a question mark. So there's text-to-speech, shows you the languages. Um, in 8.1, the developer's preview, you can do swipe the text, so. So what in the world are you doing? And it's, it's very accurate. Like I said, it helps that the keys are taller if you want to swipe the text. I mean, I use both. I, I kind of go back and forth. I'm good with both of them. But I do like that you at least have the option to do that on this phone, which is pretty good. So thank you for checking, oops, checking out this video. Smile. And while we're, while we're talking about the typing, the suggestions are very, very good. If I want to type, how are you doing today? How, I think I can get it to auto-predict everything. How are you doing today? I love that I did not have to, myself, type every word. I love that it predicted those words I was going to type. And I like that it gives you things are. You know, if you don't like these first four, at least you can swipe over to get more suggestions. I know on the Android L keyboard, it gives you a set of three or four and you can't swipe over that I, I don't remember that you being able to do that. So I do like that you can do that on this keyboard. So word prediction is fantastic. Um, I like the tall keys, I like the sound. Um, you can swipe the text. On um, this keyboard is my favorite keyboard that I've used, especially for a default system on a Windows phone. 
is Windows really or Microsoft really has a good keyboard going for them, especially on 8.1 that it with the addition of swipe. So um, like I said, I, I suggest you try Windows Phone if you haven't tried it. You know, I got this off of eBay. This is brand new, so if you can find a brand new phone, at least I would try it out in the store. At least give it so give it a chance. So and this is the Nokia Lumia 925. If you have any questions on the keyboard or you want me to go over something else, I can make a, a really short short response video to key to questions that I had or I can just answer them in the comments. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will be sure to address them. Um, this is Wise Man White at the Tech Temple. Thank you for checking out another video. The Tech Temple. Thank you.